Hey guys, Wave618 here. It is the 7th of October 2019. So I want to do an update on Bitcoin today as well as a few of the alts. So we're going to look at Ripple, Ethereum. Uh, we may have a quick scan over a few others or we'll see during the video. But uh, in particular, what I want to address today is the Bitcoin dominance chart, which does seem to be rolling over over the last couple of weeks. So I do believe that that could be very significant for a possible impressive move in the altcoins so that is essentially what is going to be the primary focus of today's video so if that sounds interesting then stay tuned Alright guys, so uh, yeah, first things first, before we jump into Bitcoin, just want to mention that I'm going to be doing another 50% offer on the first month of the subscription to the Cryptology service. So for those of you who aren't familiar, the Cryptology service, which can be found at my website, wave618.com, is essentially where I cover each week the top 15 uh, market cap cryptocurrencies. Which, as I say, I do think could be very interesting over the next few weeks, especially with us perhaps seeing... Uh, a rollover in the Bitcoin dominance chart. So, yeah, on top of the um, the coins that I cover, you also get access to my course, which is released uh, every few days. You get a new module. Um, so you can check all the details uh, on my website, as I say, wave618.com. Um, and also in the description of this video, you'll find links to that also. Yeah, but the, the discount that is on offer basically allows you to get a sample of what the the course, not course, but the whole service provides. So you get it at a discounted rate, allows you to see for the first month whether you're interested or not. Um, so yeah, the discount will be in the description to this video and I'll post it on Twitter as well. All right, so that said, let's get started. So first things first, we'll talk about Bitcoin. Now, following on from my last video, you'll know how I did make quite a big change in the count that I've described the um, this move throughout 2019. Okay, so I've given it this ABC labeling now, uh, as opposed to that very impulsive count that I was giving it prior to this. So, and the, the main reasons were highlighted in my previous video. So there I go in, I do elaborate on why I've switched it to a more corrective sequence. And essentially, it's due to the fact that, first of all, if we use this AB C count where B wave is an ascending triangle and C wave starts from here, we get an absolutely perfect uh, Fibonacci relationship between C and A, where C is a 4.236 extension of wave A. And on top of that, we adhere to this pitchfork much better than any other pitchfork that I can put on for this move up here. Okay, so it really does respect the lines very nicely. You can see after your third pivot is in, we come up and test the median line several times, consolidate before we break through the median line and find resistance at the upper median line. Again, testing it a couple of times, consolidating before we then break through the upper median line and then stop at the upper warning line. So for me, it's a really, really significant pitchfork and I like the way how we really paused at the upper warning line and then started to make a major pullback after we saw this very nice 4.236 extension uh, of wave C. Now, we are pulling back and the big question is, um, how far back are we going to come down? So I've got this count coming down as a WXY and the main pitchfork that I'm looking at is this downward pitchfork here. This is the, a modified shift pitchfork. So it's using our first three uh, major pivots. So first pivot, second pivot and third pivot. And for me, this pitchfork has been respected very, very nicely. So you can see we've tested the lower median line really nicely here. We've then come up to the median line consolidated before going up to our upper median line. We've then tested the median line a couple of times, then ranged up to the upper median line, and then we broke down hovering around the median line now. Uh, <clears throat> All right, so big question on everyone's mind is, has this correction, it looks very corrective to me. I've got it labeled as a WXY with the first uh, three waves down making the W, then we've got three waves up to make X, and another three wave count down to make Y. Uh, with that in mind, so we've got W coming down to here, just doing a fib extension from where X finished. 
we've got a Y coming down to here and this gives us a one-to-one -one relationship and you can see uh, we haven't had any major closes below here I think one daily close we've had below this one-to-one -one relationship um, so and now we are above this one-to-one -one level here that said we are at a significant level of horizontal resistance the 8300 line here uh, if we hover across we can see its significance where it actually has very good resistance at this level and we can see on lower time frames that there were ranges around these eight, this 8300 level so you can see here from the top of a smaller range um, I think coming across here also but it's not a huge resistance level so yeah we'll have to see whether it's going to get taken out so the big question on everyone's mind are we going to come down make another lower low or are we going to see a swing here where we've seen the completion of a wxy and we're going to start trending upwards okay now one of the main indicators that i'm looking out for this uh, uh sign to determine if we have bottomed here is to look at the altcoins so i will be looking at those very shortly uh, because as I say, with the Bitcoin dominance chart looking like it's going to roll over, we will be pulling that up very shortly. Uh, it basically means that there is, it looks like there's going to be a shift of capital from Bitcoin into alts. Uh, and as a result, you'll probably see uh, price moves in alts becoming a lot more dramatic relative to Bitcoin. <clears throat> so which may, for example, suggest that they're going to start popping um, prior to any major movement in Bitcoin. All right, so yeah, for me, as I say, these the the key pitchfork is this downward pitchfork. This upward pitchfork is not so significant to me anymore. The fact that we've got an ABC completion to me suggests this pitchfork is complete, and so potentially it means that this lower warning line could be breached to the downside. Okay, because this this pitchfork that corresponds to this upward move has finished. It's been completed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, as I say, the pitchfork's not significant. This lower warning line does not have to act as support. We could very easily breach it to the downside. Uh, in terms of major horizontal support, I've got an eye on 7200. That's the bottom of this range here. So you've got a major daily close here at this level, 7200. And on top of that, it is the linear 0 0.618 FIB retracement from our bottom at 3.2K to 14k so the 0.618 fib does come in at 7.2k so it's another reason why i've got to um i am really watching that level up and if that fails to hold then the next major uh, support is this range here which is marked out by these horizontal lines at 6700 and 6100 approximately but as i say <clears throat> these are all ball ballpark uh levels really and in order to be more precise as i say what i'm looking for is key pitchforks on the altcoins to get breached and so we'll be coming to that very shortly um okay so yeah i think i've mentioned key points here about bitcoin and yeah in terms of okay sorry in terms of the major count what i'm looking at is i've got this as an abc count here but for me, I believe that we're, this is a three-wave count. We're correcting that three-wave count, and we're going to see another corrective move up to the upside, which I believe could equal our all-time highs at 20K. So then what we'll have is a, a three-wave move down, a three-wave move up, so that'll be first wave, second wave, third wave. And that could be the beginning of what I think is most likely to be an ascending triangle. So you've got a major A, B, C, D, and E coming across like so so that's my probably my preferred count there are obviously alternative counts uh, because once you've got three waves uh, sorry your first three waves your second three waves you still obviously got the option of a flat to form um, <clears throat> but yeah my, I am leaning more towards a uh, ascending triangle um, but I'm, I'm not going to go into too much detail on that just now so yeah but obviously main thing we have to keep an eye on right now is whether we're going to see a swing to the upside because at the moment we're very much in a downtrend as i say the most important pitchfork is this downward pitchfork here and as long as we're in this pitchfork we are in a downtrend there is every risk of us going down lower um, and as i say the main signs that i'm looking out for are on the altcoins so with that said let's just pull up bitcoin dominance so bitcoin dominance so Basically, the, the count that I've got on Bitcoin dominance is that we've got a, a clear three-way move up here, and I'm labeling this as W. Then we've got our sideways move, 
and then <clears throat> another extension to the upside which I've got made up of three waves uh, in itself which are first wave second wave and third wave now if we extend so this is a fib extension that I've got drawn on so that is basically extending W from the end of X and you can see we tag the 0 0.618 very very nicely and it's always a level that I look for with these WXY uh, counts so I always look for a turnaround when Y is a 0 0.618 extension of wave W now that said there was also a very nice close of this gap that originated in July 2017 um, so we can see when Bitcoin really rallied up until December 2017, it was very, very close to closing this gap. Let's just zoom in on that. Yeah, you can see the major gap that was formed from here down to here. And it did, it, it, Bitcoin obviously rallied and made a very valiant attempt to close that gap, but it failed and it fell, it fell short. Um, since then obviously we've come down and we've bounced back up and we have in fact closed that gap now so uh, the red dotted line is a approximately where the gap would have been closed and you can see we came very nicely to that point there uh, just here and then we came up a little bit higher just to tag our 0 0.618 extension and now we're starting to roll over again now on top of that the other significant thing on this chart is this pitchfork that I've got. So I, f I find that this modified shift pitchfork is holding price best. So first two obvious pivots, so first pivot, second pivot, and third pivot. Um, the median lines, upper median line and lower median line, are holding price very, very nicely here. So it is a pitchfork I am particularly fond of. Also, median line has been tested several times. Um, so here it's acted as good resistance again. Uh, again and then support and then resistance and so we're now below the median line and it does look like we've got you know further to come down yeah it looks like it's starting to roll over so essentially what that is telling us is that um, Bitcoin is becoming less dominant relative to the altcoins okay so which can essentially suggest that we're seeing um, money shifted from Bitcoin into alts okay um, <clears throat> so yeah with that that's the main thing i wanted to highlight from this basically what i'm saying is i'm anticipating at least short term a move down on the bitcoin dominance chart and we could see it come down perhaps even to this uh, lower median line okay so that's the main thing i want to uh, highlight now let's just take a look at ethereum next so ethereum as i say it's the main altcoin that I like to monitor. Now, since obviously I've mentioned that Bitcoin, I've given it this corrective count for Bitcoin throughout 2019. Likewise, I've done the same for Ethereum and the major, a lot of the other altcoins also that have made similar price moves. So here I've got an ABC count here and, um, and we're basically correcting that move. And again, we've, I've got this WXY count. Uh, so let's just expand that a little bit and if we just look at the fib relationship between y and w so if that's w and extend that from the end of x so we we've, we've just had a few wicks beyond the 0 0.618 then we've kind of consolidated and we'll have to see what happens now but basically i've plotted the pitchfork for uh, this downward move using the elliott wave count so our first pivot second pivot and third pivot using wave w and x uh, it's a shift pitchfork and you can see here we failed to really break out of this upper warning line here hitting major horizontal resistance at this point you can see it acts as significant support in the past and sorry 223 I think it was very significant in the past as well so yeah here major resistance and here very good support with just a wick on the daily chart uh, below it all right now yeah so basically we're just consolidating sideways at this point and as I said just like with Bitcoin we're consolidating here after an impulse down there is every chance we come down lower yeah there's every possibility of that um, but at the same time, we've got to be mindful. We are consolidating. Uh, this is a $164 is a pretty significant uh, horizontal level also that we've managed to stay above and only wicks below. And we have had a few of the, the lower market cap alts actually break above their downward pitchforks, showing a bit of a show of strength. 
Um, but for me, as I say, it's really Ethereum that I want to see break out of this downward pitchfork. Yeah. So for me, this would be a major show of strength. Uh, Ethereum coming out um, to the upside above this downsloping pitchfork. That would then give me interest in... To be honest, Ethereum would be more appealing than Bitcoin at this moment just because of the Bitcoin dominance chart. But basically what I'm saying is, should Ethereum and other altcoins start a break, to break above these downward pitchforks, it would suggest we're probably going to see at least uh, some kind of a move up in Bitcoin also. Um, yeah, so that's the main thing I want to highlight with this uh, downward sloping pitchfork. Upper warning line is the main thing I've got my eyes on at this moment in time. So we should find out pretty soon whether we're going to, this is going to act as resistance and we're going to roll over um, or we're going to break this to the upside. Okay, so another chart we'll just pull up. So we'll take a look at Ripple. So with Ripple on the daily time frame, and you'll know if you've been watching my previous videos, the major count that I've got is this is a wave one and two, three up to here, and this all being a wave four. Um, check out my, I can't remember which video it was, it might be a couple of videos back, but I basically gave the more, a more detailed explanation of the, the count that I was looking at. But essentially what we notice in these long drawn out corrections in Ripple is we get a rather truncated WXY pattern where Y comes down to approximately the level of W. Um, yeah, we see it here, we see it here, and we're kind of seeing it again play out now, and we'll have to see if it holds, but we have slightly overshot the level of W, which came down to 0 0.24. This move came down to $0.2, <clears throat> but that said, it's only really a wick that came down. We have overall, I'd say, held 0 0.24 quite nicely so far, um, now, talking of pitchfork, so the major pitchfork on Ripple is this one. So I've used here first pivot, second pivot at the end of W, third pivot at the end of X. And so for me, really, to confirm the end of this downtrend, I, I need to see price come above this downslope and upper warning line. Um, at present, we're just using the upper median line as support. So it's good to see us above that level at present. Uh, but on a lower degree, so obviously the final, so this Y wave in itself is, um, will have its Elliott wave count. And it's this final leg down that I've drawn this pitchfork for. So if we zoom in on that, so this is the pitchfork that I've got for that. It's a shift pitchfork. I've used first pivot, second pivot, and third pivot. And again, just like on Ethereum, we found resistance at the pitchfork initially. Um, <clears throat> but with ripple you can see that it has popped above the uh down slope and upper warning line now it did it here so there was every possibility we come back within the pitchfork but as i say it's a show of strength it happened once here and now it's happening again so it needs to be taken into consideration for me this is a show of strength from the altcoins now um we're holding on to 0 0.24 we're breaking this um smaller time frame uh pitchfork to the upside so we'll have to see how that plays out uh, obviously, we have run into a major, major resistance. We have to zoom out a little bit. And yeah, if we just look at the dotted line, so look at the, my, where the cursor is. So $0.28 going across. So you've got all of this acting as resistance. And then again, you've got the top of this range here. 0 0.28 level is around here. So it's a hell of a lot of resistance to break through. Okay. So it is a significant level and we've gone up on a spike and we've got a little bit of a wick to the upside. So I wouldn't get excited just yet. We need to see, I want to see us perhaps retest this upper warning line before going higher. That's one possibility. Or we could retest 0 0.24, which is obviously a very significant uh, horizontal level. Um, yeah, so these levels really need to hold at least 0 0.24. So... The reason I'm pulling up this chart is really to just to demonstrate how on these some of the uh, altcoins we are starting to see these downsloping pitchforks get broken to the upside. Another example that I'll give is on Chainlink. Um, so here, looking at the downward move, I've got this as a W X Y down to here. First pivot, second pivot, third pivot using a shift pitchfork. We have broken the um, pitchfork to the upside. Okay, but as I say, it's not a convincing break. Yeah, and we have seen a bit of a wick here, and that wick is corresponding with the top of this 
a large range here okay so we hit resistance and we're kind of uh, wick to the upside so it's not a convincing break for me on chain link um, I want this median line this is a median line for the much higher time frame on chain link I want to see this hold it's been significant in the past uh, so for me that's and it's held it very nicely so far okay so for me that's the main uh, point of focus for chain link but as I say, just wanted to give another demonstration of how another altcoin is starting to break this downward sloping trend line or this upper warning line using the pitchfork. Uh, another example that I can give is on, so Tron is another one. So Tron, so with Tron, so I've given it this WXY counts, first pivot, second pivot, third pivot, and again, like with Ethereum and Ripple, we bounce off the upper warning line at this point. Then we have another go when we've actually broken to the upside. Now, keeping in mind, this is a significant horizontal level of resistance that we're at right now at $0.016. Uh, coming across, we can see the significance of that level where it acted as resistance here and support here. Um, so, yeah, we've got that level to overcome. As I say, it's another uh, spike in price. So it's gone the hourly. It's so a bit of a spike in price going into resistance. So I wouldn't get excited just, just yet. We need to see if price can get above that horizontal level at $0.016. Okay, but um, back to Bitcoin. So yeah, I think I've covered all the main things I want to cover in today's video. So uh, as I say, the summary for this uh, video is essentially that I've, I see the Bitcoin dominance chart starting to roll over to the downside, suggesting that we could see a shift of capital from Bitcoin into alts, okay? Uh, which if we do see a bit of relief in this downward trend in Bitcoin, it could um, suggest we do see a bit of a spike in the altcoins to the upside. Uh, and the key things that I'm looking for in particular is the Ethereum um, downward pitchfork. So this one here, this is the main one, because obviously it's the highest market, market cap altcoin. And um, but as I say, the other alts, some of them, not all of them, are showing uh, some good uh, signs of strength, having broken those downsloping pitchforks to the upside already. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I want to summarize in today's video. As I say, just a reminder, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that deal on the Cryptology service. That's the service I do looking at the top 15 market caps each week. Um, <clears throat> as well as access to the course so you can learn about how I like to trade the markets, the indicators I use, as well as the common pitfalls that I identify, how psychology plays a big role, a bit of understanding about macroeconomics also. Uh, but yeah, you can see all the details as to what my course involves at my website, wave618.com. Links to that in the description also, as well as the link to the discount, which will be in the description. All right, guys, so I hope you found value in today's content. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and any queries, as always, just post in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up. All right, take care.